All right, check it out. Of course, I had to go to Sony side last night. Didn't have a choice. Bad news strikes mostly flow to the bar. Grab a pitcher, fifth. Get drunk. And I'm 568 days, 69 days today, of free of alcohol. So, Sunday's I called my name last night, pretty much. They keep me from getting a, being a drunk. Because I'm going through some uh, family things with my mother. Everybody that's a, a mom's son knows about it, you know. I was here. A son and you're real protective of your mother. If you're a daughter, you're usually a daddy's girl. We'll see. I went and got this Hell's Bells. Hybrid. Okay, let's check it out here. Hell's Bell Hybrid. Damn. Total THC 77%. But I'm a medical patient. And this is how I'm going to wake and bake. See, I love how they got their little things. Because you don't have to worry about them things getting broke. There's something to go with the cheap packaging. And they, they break sometimes, you know. These protect your cart. And your carts always burn slower because look at that stuff. Now I've learned these kind are the best. I do use high supply. And I'm going to show you the cheap little battery I got here right here it's called a leaf buddy now you can't adjust it or anything like that my bad <laughs> it's good early morning here 8 a.m. already you know as you notice I got new air over here and the sun is right over here and later today I believe I will be making something. But uh, these, you can get them too hot like these. You can kick these up to 4.5 or 4.9 or something like that. You can scorch your car if you want. These, Seconds. Gives it a smoother hit. <coughs> now, let's see. <coughs> if you're trying to preserve your cart, I recommend the Leaf Buddy battery. Honestly, that way you don't have to worry about burning it up or not. No, they take forever to charge. So if anybody looks at you funny because you go in there and buy like five batteries, it's because these fuckers take forever to charge. But once they're charged, they're good. But you gotta have a backup leaf battery at all times because if you don't, you might as well say fuck it. Because you're down for a long time. Now, I can't remember the life on these because the way I smoke, but, you know, hey, what can you say? As long as you have a backup one, good. So, when you go to, I think it's online, you go to leafbuddy.com, and get one, get these, right off of leafbuddy.com. Now, I want to try out a, the, the ooze, ooze is supposed to be getting with me about um, trying out their batteries and stuff so that would be really cool try ooze i know y'all heard of ooze and everything ooze life ooze battery stuff like that i've seen some pretty cool ones they're supposed to get back with me about that all right now see i'm on 3.3 .3. now this is a hybrid and you can see the name on it okay and i bought this straight from sunnyside dispensary You'll see the, the vape card at the bottom. You'll see 
the barcode. Right, hold on, let me make sure I, I don't fuck up here. Because, you know, well, it was one good laugh, and then, you know, can't have it, you know? I got a real good hit off that one. That was pretty good. Anyway, I got this uh, barcode right here. I ain't got all this. So don't fall for that fake ass shit they're fucking selling on the streets. It's gonna kill your fucking lungs. Go the extra mile and spend the money. If you got medical issues, get a medical card. That's the best way to do it. For any, you know, I go there. At first, I never had my medical card. She was expensive. But I discovered there's a lot of fake ass cards on the streets. I've done my research. And if you go in and look at some, you know, some of my like that little slideshows, you'll find there's a list of fake cards. Rove is one of them. Rhyme is not. Rhyme will make you feel fine. Uh, this is called Hell's Bells, like I said, hybrid, perfect. To wake and bake with for me. Now we're gonna try it with my normal battery I use. But see, you seen how it hit with this leaf buddy. So if you're on the go and stuff, you know you got a couple of chances to hit it. You ain't gotta worry about no damn thing. It's just like a disposable, you know. But it ain't. It ain't disposable. It looks like a disposable when you put the card on it. Perfect. You know, only thing you gotta worry about is your card. Make sure you don't break that. But I'm telling you, these are perfect because these, all of these, if you're trying to hold on to it and you put it in the wrong spot, you're gonna hit the button, you're gonna burn up your card, or you're gonna drain your battery. Honest to God. Now, let's see how this one hits. That's how much more power my battery has than the Leaf Buddy. And will light your life up. <coughs> it will make you feel really good. Actually, I'm going to hit this again, too. Okay. I'm going to start my day. I start my day with my card. Okay, see. This is how I start my day happy. And... Wait a minute. I had one. I just got pissed off and threw it away. And I'll show you how I hate to start my day. Oh, here it is. Throw you out there. See? This is a shitty start of the day. This is how you start your day good. Shitty start? Good start. Shitty start? Good start. Because when I wake up and I can't roll over and hit this, I don't feel... What the fuck, you know, I feel like shit, you know? It's not because, you know, I'm addicted to it. It's because my back hurts and everything. And everything. And I roll over. And if I know I got my cart there. And I can hit it. I'm comfortable. I roll over and hit that a couple times. And I'm able to, you know, function. And I'm not too high. Not too low. It's not like smoking weed all day. Because I know how y'all think. And I know how it is. Because I've discovered it myself. I can sit there and smoke a half ounce of weed with no problem. And it's not real good. And you know, it's just weed. It's just weed. Right? I feel like some people have got to have sativa, hybrid, indica. Some of it, you smoke all fucking day, you feel dumbfounded. Like, damn, man, 
You ever heard that song? I was gonna do this until I got high. I was gonna whack my weenie till I got high. I was gonna fuck off till I got high. I was gonna clean the kitchen before mommy made me die. But then I got high. You know? Think about it, you know? Trust me. Lately, I've been that fucking high. You know why? Oh, I got a lot on my mind, but... I smoked a lot of weed. And when you smoke a lot of weed, that's what happens. If you can... I like to smoke big blunts and stuff. That's not a problem for me. I, there, there's a time to be high. There's a time to get shit done. And just be buzzed. That's what America needs to fucking learn. Okay? Now you need to learn that, hey, guess what? This motherfucker ain't stupid. You can do your job buzzed. Not not on alcohol. But see, weed helps your anxiety and helps all this other stuff. Okay? So, weed helps you. Okay? That's what I'm trying to get at. Now, I can sit there and smoke a fucking five grand blunt. Do you think I'm going to get up and fucking want to do shit? Fuck no. I'm kicking back. I'm kicking on the new Soprano movie. Hey, that's how Tony became Tony. Exactly. Before you know it, fuck, I'm in a bag of chips and I got the dip. Don't give me none of your fucking lip. Okay. But see, if I get out there, I get up, take my meds, the doc says I gotta have and shit, and then I hit my cart a couple times. And then I'm gonna hit my bowl a couple times. And I'm gonna run around. You know, I, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run around. That's funny. <laughs> fucking kids even gonna laugh about that one. Me running around. Now with this fucking back. But I got to. Fuck, no, I ain't running around. I'll I be crawling around, but see, that's not because I'm high. It's because my back's fucked up. Okay? But I'm gonna try and get do what I can around the house, you know? Because I'm not a lazy fuck. I don't have to sit there and smoke, 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 smoke. I do sometimes when I'm under tremendous stress. But I like to get up and get shit done. I used to be a roofer. You know where the smoke was coming from? It wasn't coming from the chimney. I'll tell you right now. That shit was coming from this chimney. I find me a little cubby hole somewhere on that motherfucking roof. <sighs> Yes, boss. Are you getting high? No, sir. Why ain't you give me any? I don't fucking know. You just asked me if I was getting high. Shit, why am I gonna give you some? Make me think I'm gonna lose my fucking job. What? Why the fuck would you lose your job? Oh, 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 fuck. You come on me all like that. You know, hey, we can roll another one, man. And we would, would, it would be just like that. Roll another joint. Tell the shingles. Do this, do that. Too many people out there. I worked one place that you come and smell like weed. It was like, um, well, the dude, was, the dude was already bald, so it really didn't matter. He couldn't pull his hair out anymore. But, you know what? You can't judge a person for being high. We have cannabinoids in our brain anyway. See, I've learned all this over the years. This is something that somebody taught me about weed and stuff. But, you know, as they would think, it went in one ear and out the other. Ruin it really stuck around. So, you know, but you can't judge people for being high, okay? Now, you got all these motherfuckers drinking and driving, too. What the fuck is that about? Motherfuckers have been drinking and driving for fucking years. Okay? 
I don't drink. Like I said, I got 500 some days clean. I feel good about that. I feel my mother would still be proud of me about that. If I fell off bragging right now, as close as I am, she'd probably kill me. But in a way, she'd understand she wouldn't judge me. As sick as she is. So I pray for her. And I'd like y'all to pray for her too. But why you wanna fucking fuck with everybody because they take a couple hits of a vape or a couple hits of a fucking joint and you're pulling over driving under the influence or driving while intoxicated? Motherfucker, we don't fuck you up. You ever seen a motherfucker run a stop uh, stop sign? You ever seen a motherfucker goddamn run a stoplight while he was high? No. Because I've been with motherfuckers that just sit there. There was a comedian saying the same fucking joke. The motherfucker waiting for it to turn green. I watched the shit happen before with my homies. Hey, man. Can we go? What the fuck are we still stopped here for? Motherfucker be laying on the horn behind us. We don't affect your driving like people think you want to fucking put in your head. We don't affect all that. Get it through your head, man. Don't let these motherfucking big pharmaceutical companies put it in your fucking head to all this shit. While all these drunks drive around fucking drunk. Oh, I can get another six pack. Shit. Let me walk in there. Oh, fuck no. We got to drive through here, man. Fuck. We can get us a fucking case of beer. Each one of us. You know, we're going to go out there and we're going to catch us some bass and everything else. They forgot to mention about that big old blunt they got on smoke. Because they're too fucking drunk. But trust me. They got their sack of weed. Everybody does. Some just hide it better than others. Some hide the shit. Because they're, oh, we can't let nobody know we do that. But anyway, this was just supposed to be a review. And of course, my big mouth got to go on. But, you know, I'm just giving you my opinions on things. And I'm just trying to keep you informed. Anyway, for this cart right here, hurry out to Sunnyside the next couple days. Because I don't know how long it's on sale for. If you're a medical patient, it's going to be cheaper. If you're a recreational patient, you're going to get your ass taxed. I believe this was $80. Oh, they charged me 81. They charged me a dollar tax on one card. Unfucking real. Now, if you go to New Era, the tax is already included when you fucking do it. Sunnyside don't include the tax. Either way, they both try to keep you medicated and feeling good. And with all the stress I've been under, I thank both of y'all. And then there's the uh, Champagne New Era with the uh, recreational seasonings, which is kind of messed up. You can't get them at the medical store, but you can get them at the recreational store. I've got a big stink about that one, and the cherry and limeade too. And the man last night that like pretty much told me I didn't know what the hell I was talking about that was not good customer service. So next time I come back, I want better customer service or a different person to check me out. Because you didn't do it last night, man. You weren't the one. Other place I went, and the last time I was there before you, I had good service. I got good service at a university. I got good service at Sunnyside. I gave everybody five fucking stars and... I gave this five stars for sure. And everything except for that recreational lady that uh, checked me in last night. That was kind of rude. I should come across. And the man that checked me out. That was kind of rude too, how he was. Not going to do customer service. Nope, nope. Your skills are off, both of you. So, 
I'm out of here. Welcome to the mid oh, the Midwest mess, and we're gonna fucking get down on everything. So just wait. It's all coming. We're reviewing everything. My big mouthy running all the time. Don't worry about it. We got you. If places don't want to help, we're still going to help you. Realize if you're getting screwed or if you're getting a deal. This is cannabis. And I am into cannabis, okay? And I know when I'm getting screwed. I'm 47 years old. My state has a sliding scale on their weed. Unlike California has a 10% tax on their weed. Unlike Colorado has this kind of tax on their weed. Illinois has got a sliding tax. Okay. So it slides all the way up to 35% so we can bend you over and fuck you on the percentage. Gotcha! But I'm not bringing the Vaseline. All right, y'all. Much love. Peace. Maybe I need another hit of this, or maybe I don't. Maybe I'm too high. Or, hmm, should I actually hit the bowl? Actually, check the weed right now. I got some good fucking weed here, man. Ah, uh, fuck it. And I'm gonna smoke me a bowl. I forgot what it's called. Fuck it. Yeah, good weed, man. Lots of crystals on it. That's one thing I do love about dispensaries. But I think they're speeding their shit along, like I told you in my last video. How the, there's a difference in the thing. One of my team members brought it to me about that. Um, how they speed the weed along to grow it faster. That's just ridiculous. To make people sick? What the fuck? Y'all invented COVID. Y'all, I mean, never mind. It's just like a way to, everybody just, it's all, it, greed, it, greed kills, okay? My morning thug this morning. Yeah. So, now, I can start my day with a morning thug. And I heard you. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Oh shit, I did take four ducks, didn't I? Because I took two off the leaf, buddy, too. Yeah, that's why I'm feeling really good. Alright, much love, everyone. Peace. Keep prayers up. Fuck the hate. You're gonna hate, don't discriminate. Hate on everybody. Fuck it. If you're gonna hate one, you gotta hate them all. You know what? That's how I looked at it. You hate somebody? Fuck that. Why hate it? I mean, you know, if you're gonna hate, hate them all. Don't just hate one person. Hate the world. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. It's better off if you love. But... There isn't haters out there stupid enough to do that. I'm just fucking with you, Albert. Spread the love. Fuck the hate. We need that love out there. The world's all fucked up already. Everybody's struggling enough in this world. 2020 killed a lot of people. But 2021 ain't doing too good anyway. So. Let's hope 2022 does something real good for us. Gives us a what do you call that? A second chance, you know. Um, um, hey, if I have a couple team members here, they'd be able to tell me. It's like, like <laughs> we'll call it the second coming because they didn't knock off enough people in 2020, 2020, and 2021. And no, not everything is fucking COVID. Not everything is fucking COVID. I'm sorry. I heard that shit through um, on my mom's post. When people were praying for her. Is it COVID? Fuck, no, it's not COVID. 
not everything is COVID. But have fun. Get your asses out to Sunnyside. New era. Get your edibles. And get your cards. And enjoy yourself. Get that medical card, though. If you get one, you get it for three years. Right now. And you don't have to see your doctor again. Just three years later, you pay uh, for the card for another three years. Which will help you a lot. Because there are a lot of people out there that do have problems that need the help. And don't know how to do it. And I know there's a few sites out there that, you know, try to help people, but if y'all hit me up and put it in the comments or whatever on how to help these people, that's fine with me. I'm all about it. So, like I said a long time ago, much love, later on. Shit done got me on roll. Stone, stone, stone. All right, y'all. Later.